visit the grave of a friend of mine and as I walked through the graveyard I noticed this man kneeling down by the grave of a child and in his hand he held a big red rose and tears were streaming down his cheeks I walked over and laid a hand on his shoulder and started to talk to him and during the course of our conversation and in his broken English This is the story, just as he told it to me. He said, Mr. I'm a walker down the street of today and I pass by a bigger flower shop. I walk in and I ask the man in the shop, I say, boss, how much if I won the red rose? And he looked at me with one bigger frown and he says, I want a dollar, please. But in a buy and a buy, a swallow dressed a blonde young lady walk in and She says, how much of a wonder red rose? And he looked at her with one of biggest smile, and he says, a ten of cents. And then I said, a boss, how come are you charging me a dollar for the rose? You charge the young lady only ten of cents. And he says, look, mister, you tell me why you want the rose, and maybe I'll give it to you for not. And then I said, a boss, I'm a harder worker, man. Working the railroad and don't make it too much money. And I got a little girl and her name is Rosa. Oh, Rosa's just about this high, boss. Every day when I come home from a work, a little Rosa come running to me to Papa. And she throw her little arms around my neck and say, Papa. And I'd say, Rosa. Oh, but the one day a boss will come home from a work and I don't see Rosa. I look her down by the railroad track and I see one the bigger crowd. I go down and I push the crowd this way and I push the crowd that way and there boss at my feet. Lay my little Rosa. Don't you why I want the Rosa, boss? I want to put him on a little Rosa's grave. The man he don't say a lot. But he picked the biggest and the reddest rose and he give it to me. And I say, thank you, boss. Thank you very much. And though she's gone, gone you see, she's still the world to me. To me, she'll always be. That little girl of mine 